In this problem, we have to integrate cosecant cubed of x plus 1 divided by the cosecant of x. So because we have two terms like this in the numerator and a single term on the bottom, we have a fraction. The best thing to maybe to do is to break it up. So this is the same thing as the integral of cosecant cubed of x over cosecant of x. Cosecant cubed of x over cosecant of x, and then plus, and then 1 over cosecant x. So 1 over cosecant x. We have our parentheses, and then we have the dx. Okay, so now we can clean this up a little bit because cosecant cubed over cosecant, we're going to lose a copy of cosecant. So this is going to become the integral of cosecant squared of x. And then 1 over cosecant, that's just sine. So this is plus sine of x. And then dx. And now this shouldn't be um, too hard to integrate. We just have to think backwards. So the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So when you integrate cosecant squared, you'll get negative cotangent of x. Likewise, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. When you integrate sine, you'll get negative cosine. And you can check this, and you probably should. So the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, but we already have a negative here. So two negatives become a positive. All is good. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, but we already have a negative here. Two negatives become a positive, so all is good. We have plus c, which is our constant of integration. And so that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.